Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Israel Christian. Welcome to Green Pastures. And um, this segment I've titled Wisdom Capsule. Receive wisdom. I just pronounce over your life divine wisdom from above to somebody's under my voice. You are troubled, you are disturbed at how you are going to navigate a challenge, a particular options. There are so, there are so many options ahead of you. May you receive wisdom to navigate. You will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. Now, we are already looking at the seven caterpillars of wisdom. The things that can affect wisdom in our lives. And the seventh one, according to Proverbs chapter 6, uh, is sowing discord among brethren. This is someone who, by tale-bearing, ill nature and stories and wicked invention, troubles the peace of the family, a village, a church, a company, or a state. These are people who through their lies, their misrepresentations and misinformation, they strive to poison men's minds towards their brethren. Such shall not be free from the judgment of God, for such subverts the desires of God for his creatures to live in love and unity. And that's why you must not be among those who are sowing discord. In Nigeria today, there is so much discord among people. Um, so many things going on social media. You must be very careful of what you are sharing because through your phone, you might be sowing discord. And you cannot be a possessor of divine wisdom and be engaging in that. Now, let, let's try to combine uh, maybe, maybe the, the seven pillars versus the seven caterpillars. Now, the seven pillars, you find humility on one side, and that is opposed to the proud look as a caterpillar. Holy living on one side and lying tongue on the other side. Meekness on one side as opposed to hands of cruelty. Seeking righteousness as opposed to the heart that devises wicked imaginations. And being merciful as opposed to the feet that is swift to run to do mischief. Purity of heart as opposed to false witnesses. And number seven, peacemaker as opposed to sowing discord among brethren. Then you will see that with these seven caterpillars, we can confirm again that the pillars of wisdom are any man who needs divine wisdom must hate what God hates and must love what God loves. Apart from these seven caterpillars of wisdom, as listed in Proverbs Chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. Some other things the Bible says God hates are. Number one, the violent man. Proverbs 3, 21 to 32. The Bible says, do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord, but the secret counsel is with the upright. Number two, those who judge unjustly. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them are like uh, abomination to the Lord. Proverbs 17, 15. Also, the Bible says God hates robbery and iniquity. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery for bond offering. I will direct their work in truth and will not make with them an everlasting covenant. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 8. Another thing the Bible says God is, is divorce. Malachi 2.16, For the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce, for it covers one's garment with violence, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously. And another thing the Bible says God is, is worship without holiness or offering without righteousness. In Moses 5, 21 to 24, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I do not serve your sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your green offerings, I will not accept them, nor will I regard your fatting peace offering. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments. But let justice run down like water, 
and righteousness like a mighty stream. Did you offer me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness for 40 years, O house of Israel? And number six, the sacrifices and prayers of the wicked. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. And number seven, the ways and the thought of the wicked. The Bible says in Proverbs 9 and 26 that God eats this. Now I want you to do a kind of search. Search out God's word. And look at more things that God hates. And do your best to avoid them. Also look at the scripture and find out the things that God loves and embrace them. Then I will tell you, you will be a man of divine wisdom. Wisdom is not about knowledge. Not just about the application of knowledge. But hear me. But most importantly, it is the correct application of what you know. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Mm -hmm.